know what's going on with my speech today. I feel like I'm like unable to speak, but. <laughs> what is that? What is it? It's me. It's you? Yeah. Okay, where's the eyes? I got it. You got the eyes right there. See the nose and the mouth. And is that hair? Um, yep. <laughs> Good job. And arms and legs. I love it. I went on Amazon yesterday, two days ago, I forget, and I ordered a two pack of paper, like the easel paper. We don't use like easels really. I don't even think we have one anymore. Color, thank you. Um, but I like to like literally just lay it out on the floor for them and they can go to town. So I gave them some crayons. I also bought some of the um, do a dot markers for them to do, but the, the boys are gonna be really messy. So this is gonna have to be an outdoor thing and it's still a little bit chilly outside. So maybe in a couple hours we'll go do this. These are great. I feel like you could probably Probably start doing these around one and a half years old maybe even a little younger depending on your kids these have been around forever because we used them when I was young but it's like a little felt tip and the kids just have to like dab it and they can also like color with it they're really fun and I got the ultra bright shimmer colors because of Emma <laughs> I also got her this because we're working on her cutting practice it's got like I don't know it's got like little pictures and stuff that you cut out yeah you can do this at the counter um, and like they're supposed to cut along the lines. <laughs> Ash was just yelling at me. Cut her! Cut her! Yeah, you want to do it right now? Yeah. Okay, well I've got, it came with these scissors that are like not real scissors. I know you have real scissors somewhere. Where are they? I think you put them in this drawer. There's two pairs. You can try both and see which ones you like better, okay? Okay. I'm going to start you with an easy one. I'm going to give you the watermelon one. Cause that's an easy one. Watching your kid learn how to use scissors the right way is like watching like, them try to do a puzzle and you know finished. where the pieces go, yeah. but they want to do it their own way, so you just have to let them. Dude, she actually did a puzzle really good yesterday. She, she got does. like a Valentine's Day so puzzle. She's getting so much better at it. She did really good. Good job, that was much better. Look, she got that mm. one a lot closer. She just wants oh. to do it her own way. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Is it coming ah! ah! It looks like a chicken. Sorry, I have no idea what he was just saying. Dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. What? Oh yeah, that one's that one's broken. This one's broken. not broken. No, that one's not broken. So yesterday we actually went out. I took my camera. I was supposed to vlog yesterday. I totally forgot the battery. You're gonna vlog either. <laughs> forgot the battery for the camera. And we got to the place we were going and I went to go take it out and get this cute picture of the boys sitting in the trunk and then I realized I didn't have it. Um, we went to go look at house, a house yesterday. This is the second one we've looked at. We just kind of wanted to like get a feel for what's what out like. there. And what we like, what we would be looking for, how much square footage, and all of that kind of stuff. And I wasn't going to vlog, like, at the house anyways, because I'm pretty sure people are still, like, actively oh, yeah. living there. Um, but it was, like, good. I feel like it was good for us to get an idea of, like, how much, like, square footage can be, like, I don't know, it just depends on the house. This house is 
like a smaller house okay. in in terms of square footage, but it's so open that it doesn't feel as small. Magic. Yeah, so that's kind of like what we wanted to get a feel for. So we went to go look at a house. I think it went well. I think we just like, there's not a lot out there right now. There's literally like maybe four or five houses that are in our price range. And out of those four or five houses, how do you know that that's gonna be what you're looking for or have the things you need? Because we're, we're hoping, if we do move, we're hoping to get four bedrooms or five bedrooms. Okay, either four bedrooms with an office or like an space. space. Yeah, or five bedrooms. One bedroom could be an office. I just don't know if we're gonna, I don't know. But that's why we're looking, because we don't know if we're gonna be able to find that right now because the got? the market is just so under like I don't know there's like nothing and even like the new development that we looked at there's yeah. like this huge wait list there's not even gonna be inventory for like a year so even that we're like oh well if we did want to move at some point that's not gonna happen then because like we're luckily already, what, these huge wait lists so. we're luckily not in a rush like i think i've said this we're not in a rush to make any decisions necessarily um however like we're trying to get a feel for it now because right now i am pregnant but not like i don't know it's gonna be harder to do this with a newborn like it's gonna be a lot harder to look at houses with four kids and to move with a newborn if we have to move so it's just a lot, but we did go look and I think it was good for us. We didn't look at that many houses when we moved here. I think we looked at like four, three or four total before yeah. we picked this house. So we didn't see too much. And back then what we wanted was totally different than what we want now. We need more square footage as far as bedrooms, etc. So I don't know. I think that I just right. love this house. I'm really too. sad. Every, every house we have seen, I think there's only been two. And one of them was like a brand new build even. Every house I've seen, I just like compare to like this house. I just love this house. Yeah. What? What? That's daddy's laptop. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this one gets hangry like Justin and I when she's hungry. I never get hangry. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Post-its, so yeah, we can't have those because you guys went through a whole pack of my pink post-its the other day. Anyways, we'll definitely probably look at a couple more. Um, definitely probably. Definitely probably. So. Um, I don't know, we haven't, we definitely haven't made any decisions yet. It's just good to kind of get out there, see what is available. I don't know, it's just weird, it's a weird time. Bye. <laughs> So I'm about to go out and buy some like frosting and sugar cookies because I want to do a sugar cooking night, a uh, sugar cooking, sugar cookie like Valentine's Day decorate didn't, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I want to buy sugar cookies and frosting to let the kids have like a sugar cooking frosting date night. I don't know what's going on with me. They reminded me, I never showed you guys Emma's little Valentine's that we came up with this year. This is her mailbox that I did. It's just from Target. I think it was like $3 and I glued ribbon to it, put her name on it. That's it. But I got these little Valentine's from the Everco. On Instagram one of my favorite favorite companies they're printables and then I bought a pack of squishies if you guys don't know what these are Emma is obsessed with them it came with like 60 for $12 or something on Amazon and I taped with washi tape a little squishy to each and every Valentine and this is so much fun the kids love it it's a great way to have an alternative to like food and they're literally just like little squishy animals and then this is for her dance class they do a Valentine's party and I just put my friend on all of them because they didn't send them a, a list with the names but it was so cute and so easy and saved a lot of money. I want to say the printables were like three dollars or something and I just printed them at home and then the squishies like I said were about 12 and I got out of it so many valentines because it came with 60. Um, she had valentines for school, for her dance class, and then for all of her friends and it was enough for everybody because it came with so many. So it was probably like 15 dollars for everything. It was a great deal and so much fun. Like Emma was so excited to pick a squishy for each individual friend. Like who gets this one, who gets that one. It was fun and I really liked it. Here Asher calling me out there though. I don't know if you guys remember this, but today is gardening day. <laughs> Things we need to take care of, like I said. So, well, Justin's gonna do it all because I'm supposed to be resting. So he's gonna take care of all of it, but we need to trim down these hedges because they've gotten overgrown and you can tell they're just, they need to be trimmed down. Same with this one. This plant is really easy to trim down because in the winter, this top part just dies and then it starts to grow again from the bottom. So you just have to trim off all the dead branches. So two of these and three of those need to get taken care of. We're gonna fertilize the grass so that it comes back green pretty soon here. It's already starting, 
but Justin was taking care of the weeds first and the gophers, but I think we're gonna fertilize the grass and then the hill <laughs> just needs to get taken care of. If you can tell, it's starting to turn yellow in spots. That means it's dying, which is a good thing, but it's a lot to take care of. So Justin's gonna probably slowly work on that. It's quite a project. Last year we got like no weeds down there, but for some reason this year they really started to take over, but I can already tell that they're starting to die a little bit from a couple days ago when we sprayed. The lantana's coming back in, which is good after the winter. So it's just like maintenance stuff. And this is so much property to take care of. So it takes a lot of practice, <laughs> it takes a lot of work. I don't know what's going on with my speech today. I feel like I'm like unable to speak, but there's just a lot of yard work to be done. So Justin is gonna be doing that while the boys nap and before it gets too hot, hopefully. And hopefully here soon we'll have like spring come in, all the plants will go green and it'll be much more beautiful. I am going to stay inside with Emma and paint with our little do a dot markers because these are so fun. It's the resting thing to do. I will not do yard work, I promise. And I really wanna show you guys really quickly what I got for my birthday. It came in really late because when I ordered it, it was pre-order, um, but it finally came in the mail. I think it was yesterday or two days ago and I haven't taken it out yet, but it's like a mom thing to be excited about, but I'm really excited about it. Any guesses? After our trips the last couple of months, I realized like how badly we need like a good family suitcase for everything when we travel, et cetera, et cetera. And we don't have one, we borrowed one from a friend. So I decided it was finally time for us to get a nice, oh, what's it called, checked bag? It's not a carry-on, it's like a giant bag. I found this brand, I was torn between this brand and the Away brand, but I really liked how this one was organized. I think this one is Monos, that's the logo, if you're curious. I'm pretty sure it's called Monos. I went with like this taupey color because I feel like everyone has black. And when you're waiting for like your bag to come out, if you're flying, everyone's bag looks the same. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Here to show you. This is what the inside looks like. So it's got this little pocket and then it's got a whole storage place underneath. I love the storage on it. It's got these like mesh see-through bags on this side. It's got another one on this side that's a lot bigger. And then it even came with little extra storage pieces, shoe bags or whatever you want to use them for. It came with a little luggage tag. And then this side stores just as much as the other side underneath. So it's got amazing storage. I love that it's a hard cover suitcase. And now we have a super nice one for when we're traveling. It even came with that like dust bag. So it doesn't get scratched up when it's in storage. And it's got one of these little nifty locking things. None of my suitcases have ever had this. I think this is for like theft protection essentially, but I thought that was really cool too. As I told you guys, I'm trying to rest as much as possible because I am still getting contractions and all of that with the irritable uterus. So this is the time that I promised myself during the boys nap. I have two hours to just do nothing. So. I, I need to follow through with that as much as I want to get things done, clean up the house, etc. This is like the only time of day that I have to lay down and chill, hang out with Emma, just do painting or coloring or whatever it may be. So I'm gonna take advantage of this time and follow through. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.